pay their viewers and welcome back to Heal T Ox. Eating a really restricted diet in terms of variety also can increase the danger of food intolerances and sensitivities as your gut may reduce production of the precise enzymes want to break them down, explains Cervante. When you are doing reintroduce them to your diet, you'll experience discomfort that you simply would otherwise not have had. So how exactly does one get the right blend of variety and stability in your daily meals if you're eating an equivalent foods? The perfect menu balances enough diversity to scale back the danger of intolerances, toxicity, and malnutrition while also staving off the buffet effect. In practice, this translates to a revolving list of just a couple of meals made with high-quality, whole foods. Here are some tips to assist you out if you're someone who finds themselves eating an equivalent foods daily. Number 1 Decide what percentage meals you're eating a day. Meal prep breakfast lunch dinner salmon salad pancakes fruit. Whether you're sticking with the normal breakfast, lunch, dinner routine, choosing six small meals, or choosing a fasting protocol that has you eating just twice each day, deciding what percentage meals you are going to eat per day is that the initiative. In my case, I eat two meals a day lunch and dinner with the likelihood of a snack of fresh, seasonal fruit or an entire, raw carrot in between. Number 2 For each meal, examine your macros. Breakfast bento box high protein with hard boiled eggs fruit nuts pot cheese cucumber. There are three macronutrients everyone must thrive, fat, protein, and carbs. For every meal, choose one high-quality source of the previous two and two or three sources of carbs, bearing in mind that your carb source should even be high in fiber, think avocado, sweet potato, broccoli, or whole grains. Not only does a high fiber intake keeping you feeling fuller, it is important for the healthy functioning of your gut microbiota, which affects everything from your mood to your system. She suggests ensuring that half every plate you eat be crammed with vegetables, preferably a minimum of half leafy greens and therefore the spouse as colorful as possible. When it involves protein, choose sources that provide some overlap of macro or micronutrients, like fiber-rich lentils, lutein-rich eggs, or fish rich in omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3s are found to possess powerful anti-inflammatory effects, also as help reduce anxiety, depression, and lots of other medical conditions. 3. Look deeper at your micros, 2. Olive oil on salad. Micronutrients are essential vitamins and minerals, many of which we get from plants. Since each plant has different amounts of those key nutrients, this is often where variety goes to be the foremost important. I'd attempt to rotate through a minimum of three to four differing types of veg and two sorts of fruit, the more dissimilar the better. A shortcut? Make your plate as colorful as possible. For example, vitamin A are often found in orange foods like butternut squash and carrots, while an honest source of vitamin K is dark, leafy greens like kale, explains Jenny Fowler, a nutrition consultant and diabetes prevention program DPP, coach with First Mile Care. On the opposite hand, while grains have some sort of nutrient composition, they're all high within the B vitamins so you do not got to pay the maximum amount attention to grain variety. Axe adds that while all micronutrients are important, some tend to be missing in people's diets more often than others. The nutrients you would like to stay an eye fixed on most depends on the sort of diet you follow. 
If you are a plant-based eater, you'll be wanting to be especially careful about getting enough B12, iron, calcium, and zinc for instance, he says. If you follow a coffee carb or keto diet, confirm to urge enough vitamin C, fiber, magnesium and other electrolytes like potassium and sodium. Overall, Axe continues, some of the foremost common nutrient deficiencies tied to poor diet quality are, magnesium, iron, potassium, B12, folate, and thiamine, plus vitamin D. To this, Reinigal adds calcium, found in chia seeds, sardines, and almonds, and Galvin adds folate, found in leafy greens and beans. Number 3 Look deeper at your micros, too. Olive oil on salad. Micronutrients are essential vitamins and minerals, many of which we get from plants. Since each plant has different amounts of those key nutrients, this is often where variety goes to be the foremost important. I'd attempt to rotate through a minimum of three to four differing types of veg and two sorts of fruit, the more dissimilar the better. A shortcut? Make your plate as colorful as possible. For example, vitamin A are often found in orange foods like butternut squash and carrots, while an honest source of vitamin K is dark, leafy greens like kale, explains Jenny Fowler, a nutrition consultant and diabetes prevention program DPP, coach with First Mile Care. On the opposite hand, while grains have some sort of nutrient composition, they're all high within the B vitamins so you do not got to pay the maximum amount attention to grain variety. Axe adds that while all micronutrients are important, some tend to be missing in people's diets more often than others. The nutrients you would like to stay an eye fixed on most depends on the sort of diet you follow. If you are a plant-based eater, you'll be wanting to be especially careful about getting enough B12, iron, calcium, and zinc for instance, he says. If you follow a coffee carb or keto diet, confirm to urge enough vitamin C, fiber, magnesium and other electrolytes like potassium and sodium. Overall, Axe continues, some of the foremost common nutrient deficiencies tied to poor diet quality are, magnesium, iron, potassium, B12, folate, and thiamine, plus vitamin D. To this, Reinigal adds calcium, found in chia seeds, sardines, and almonds, and Galvin adds folate, found in leafy greens and beans. Number 4 Build a Meal Sketch Woman writing in food journal with egg toast carrots coffee on table. Creating a basic structure of a meal takes the guesswork out of it but also allows you to combine and match. Stick with an equivalent basic few meals, suggests Axe, but also leave some rotation of ingredients. He suggests, for instance, committing to a smoothie or yogurt parfait within the morning, switching up the fruit counting on what's in season. Make an omelette for lunch, but add a spread of seasonal veggies counting on the day. For dinner, choose a meal salad, or an easy plate of roasted veggies topped with a little amount of high-quality protein and fat, sort of a dropped egg and half an avocado. The idea is to urge comfortable with meals on repeat, says Axe, but to use whichever ingredients that are most fresh, budget-friendly, and available. Reinigal recommends a three-day rotation of meals to make sure that you're covering all of your nutritional bases, noting, you wouldn't got to strictly rotate ABC ABC ABC. You'll do A-A-A-B-B-B-C-C-C. Number 5 Stick to the Seasons. Fall Foods. 
Above all, make certain to vary things up seasonally. Not only does seasonal, locally grown food have more nutrients, it is also tastier. I'd consider it sort of a capsule wardrobe, says Reinigel. When spring comes, we put away our sweaters and obtain out our short-sleeved blouses. At an equivalent time, perhaps you turn up which three to four of vegetables you're rotating through. Rather than winter squash, Brussels sprouts, and green beans, you turn to carrots, asparagus, and snow peas. Overall, if you eat an equivalent foods a day, it is not necessarily a nasty thing. As long as you are making the proper choices. So go get meal prepping. Let us know within the comments section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit the likes of button and subscribe our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.